Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. What is going on guys, Agapoka here with another video for you today and today we're going to be playing some Half Past Fate Romantic Distancing. This is a new game in the Half Past Fate series. It is only about $6 if I am correct on the eShop at the moment and it is also on Steam. So if you guys uh, want to go ahead and uh, pick up the game, it's going to be over there. Without further ado, let's actually get into the game. A long time ago, well I mean, that really narrows it down doesn't it? Well, here I am. Haven't been here since I volunteered for the tea festival. Damn. Okay, it's been a while. Your name is Stefan or Steven? Whichever one. Is this a romance simulator? Maybe. <laughs> it might be. Uh, yeah. It looks real different without all the decorations. Yeah. Anyways, I sure hope the good dudes at Electric City can fix my laptop. Gamer Force. Ah. Uh. This takes me back to when I was actually playing the original game last summer. I'm not really a gamer. Games have too much thinking. <laughs> Alright. Coming soon, Velvet Strikes, Fun Food Bowling. That used to be a bookstore, unfortunately they closed. Electricity. These cameras look neat. Bring your broken devices here, and the Nerd Force team will take it from there. Okay, sounds great. Except there seems <laughs> we seem to be missing the nerds. Oh, oh, well, I mean, yeah. Huh? Oh, she's actually pretty cute, but man, she looks miserable. Um, hey, could you help me out? What are you looking to buy? Actually, I'm trying to see if someone can fix my laptop for me. Take it over to the Nerd Force desk. That's you know where the nerds are. Yeah, I looked, but there's no one there. You sure about that? Maybe check again. Yeah, ain't nobody there. You're gonna have to go over to the nerd for Well, I mean, okay. Yep, there's definitely nobody here. No idea where the lady, uh, what that lady was hoping for, but whatever. Buy a camera, stock someone. Oh my god. <laughs> Rose, what the fuck? <laughs> Our, if you say so, hey, you know what? Fuck it, let's get a camera. Well, I mean. Here, let's see if I could talk to you again. So, there's nobody at the no uh, Nerd Force desk. Pfft. Okay, now you're just messing. Yeah, no, there's nobody there. Dang it, Malcolm. <laughs> the little dork always disappears when stuff starts happening. For real? You thought he was here? I mean, he's usually gone on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays. But I guess he took today off instead. Probably should have written down that uh, written that down somewhere. Kind of surprised you don't didn't even notice he was gone. It's not like I'm his manager or anything. I just work here. So anyways, can you fix my laptop? Look man, I wasn't hired to fix computers. I was hired to pretend to listen to customers as I take their money. If that isn't an accurate representation of the whole retail business, I don't know what is, honestly. <laughs> just come back tomorrow, alright? The nerd should be in by then. Right, so the thing is, I need to get it running again today or I can't do my my job. Unlike Malcolm, I only get one day off a week, and that's today. So I really need it done, like today. It's gotta be today. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take a look as long as you promise to stop saying today. Just hand me the laptop and I'll take a look at it, I guess. Alright, here you go. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Seven Z, Chi, she like the pronoun. Huh. I wish my last name started with the next. Definitely an upgrade from Robin Winters. Could you put your password in for me? That's okay. I'll just tell you. The password is. God. <laughs> really? You don't have any. <laughs> Who hurt her? Her name is Deadass Cashier. <laughs> oh, she's got a game. <laughs> she got a name now. Yeah. Until you learn the person's name, you don't actually. You know. You, they're just go, uh, they just go by you know some very generic term <laughs> who are <laughs> oh, man. why don't you have better passwords yeah man? uh fucking password you're kidding me it's easy to remember <laughs> and dude want to hack me anyway 
Yeah, so don't don't do that. Yeah, don't 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 do that. <laughs> definitely get a stronger password and don't feel definitely don't like say it out loud. Okay? Here we go. Or not, I guess. Wow, this is really slow. Yikes. Holy sh why do you have so many things, dude? That's why you <laughs> Yeah, so I was ripping a bunch of MP3s and then it started yelling at me about this space or something. But I figured that's impossible because music files are tiny, right? So I was thinking maybe it's actually a virus. Nah, no, man, you just downloaded way too much freaking music. <laughs> and I love music, man. I, I'm not. You can never have too much music, but this, this is something else. <laughs> Wait, is this a new strange haircut track? Yeah, they're the best. Did you catch their show at the lounge last week? <sighs> no, I was working that night. Heard it was amazing though. I saw their entire set back in January. Hey, I was at the January show too. It's crazy. Weird how two people can be so close and like not even know it. I wonder how much other stuff uh, we both like. Small world, right? Yeah, small world. Fucking adorable. <laughs> well, I think I have an idea of what's going on here. I have to defragment the drive once I free up some space. But it shouldn't be a problem to sort this out. This is probably going to take a while though. Oh, why don't you grab a burrito? A burrito? In this store? What? No, get a burrito from the taco train. Taco train. Wait, do you not know the taco train? Okay, seriously, you have to try it. It's around the corner. Packed at the pl uh, parked at the plaza. Here, I think I got some cash. No, no, that's okay. I can get it myself. If you insist, let me at least give you my punch card. Uh, keep forgetting to use this thing. For sure. All right, let's go to the taco train. Get ourselves a freaking burrito. What the fuck? She tries to give you money. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. This bench always has some sort of old man sitting here. Someday that old man might be me. All alone. Too lonely. Poor guy. That's definitely gonna be me in the future. Hey, can I get a burrito? No doubt, man. What kind do you want? Healthiest burrito, meatiest burrito. Give me your best burrito. All right, what kind of burrito should I get, guys? <laughs> Am I going the meatiest burrito, <laughs> the healthiest burrito, or the best burrito? Meat. Let's go. All right, <laughs> the meatiest. You got it, boss. Coming right up. One meaty man deluxe supreme burrito with extra deluxe. <laughs> As requested, that's $12. Awesome, here you go. Oh, and I got this punch card. Just one left after this uh, until a free bur uh, burrito. Hey, yo, let's go. Also, though, what the hell? Why the hell did they have that fucking name? <laughs> with Deluxe? What does with Deluxe even mean? Oh, God, not this guy again. Dude's on his phone. I should leave him alone. That guy's always on his phone. Hey, here's your card back. Well, don't leave me hanging. How was the burrito? No, I haven't tried it yet. Is it really that good? It's really, is it really that? Yes, go try it. <laughs> All right. Well, don't leave me hanging. How was it? Feels like I swallowed a brick. A juicy, delicious brick. I know, right? It's just a, a juicy, delicious brick. How, why would you even try to consume a brick? Shlong me, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Shlong me it is. Alright. If Earth got hit by an asteroid tomorrow and Taco Train was the only thing that survived, I'd be okay with it. Honestly, if it's if something's that good. I would be okay with it too. <laughs> Deluxe. Uh, honestly, it'd be an improvement. Anyways, I cleaned out some old temp files and ran a defrag just to be safe, but it's still running pretty slowly. Usable, but not great. I ran some diagnosis to see if uh, any bloatware or viruses were gumming up the works, but nothing popped up. So it really might just be all the wavs you've stuffed in there. Might be worth cleaning them out a bit so you have some more space. Wait, what wavs? Oh yeah, you said you ripped a bunch of MP3, uh, MP3s, but all I'm seeing are WAV files. 
Probably just grab the raw files straight from the CD instead of transcoding them. Easy mistake, but the WAVs are uncompressed, so they'll be way hungrier on your machine. Yeah, that's true. Deluxe. <laughs> well, you know a lot about computers. Nah, it's basic enough, really. You ever think about using uh, Dotify instead? Dotify. 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 <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> paraphone. Yep. Oh god, is there a paraphone in like the background or something? <laughs> Might help uh, give your laptop some breathing room. Eh, I don't know how I feel about Dotify and all those streaming apps. I never want. I uh, never know when they're just going to disappear and take my music with them. Fair enough. Yeah, I get that. But come take a look at this. So I have this Dotify uh, playlist, right? Oh, giving them the playlist? That's real romance there. <laughs> Dot. See how it's a mix of local files and cloud music? That way I can use Dotify for the tracks I'm not really worried about losing and keep my hard copies of all the important stuff. True. Super cool. And that playlist. You have like absurdly good taste in music, Robin. So hey, there's this show at the Pastel in Bloom on Saturday and the opener is this crazy J-Rock trio where, well, I guess you just kind of have to see them. Sounds great. You want my number? Only if you want my number too. Hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> Got them digits. See, this is the only action I get on Valentine's Day. Cool. We'll see you Saturday. And thanks for fixing my computer. Customer satisfaction is our guarantee. Weird. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot this uh, takes. It, it hits too close. Today, with the virus spreading rapidly across the state, the governor has instituted intense lockdown policies. Businesses are closed. Masks and social distancing practices are mandatory, and large public gather uh, gatherings are banned until further notice. Satisfaction. <laughs> Satisfaction. Ah. Uh. With even local treasures like the famous music venue, uh, venue Pastel and Bloom forced to cancel all upcoming shows, business owners everywhere are worried about survival. How will people cope with the lockdown, and how long will it last? What the fuck, there's COVID in this game? Yeah, this game is uh, based off of like the the virus. That's called uh, that's why it's called uh, romantic distancing. Yeah, they're keeping me on along with Malcolm and George, but our hours got reduced, so that sucks. At least you have some more time on your hands now. More time to do what, Gail? Everything's closed. Well, it's not like you went out often anyway. That was when I had a choice. Being a shut-in isn't fun when you're doing it under a threat of illness or death. That's true. Hold on, for some reason I'm getting a call. It's Stefan. Stefan. Is that the himbo you were going to see that show with? <laughs> I'm picking it up. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, wasn't expecting a call. Sorry, were you in the middle of something? Uh, it's Saturday. We're in the middle of a pandemic. What do you think? Right, yeah, that makes sense. So, I'll call you later, <laughs> then. Stefan, I was kidding. <laughs> oh. No, I'm literally standing around talking to my roommate like it's a bad sitcom. What's up? Bad sitcoms are still good. <laughs> uh, just wanted to apologize for the concert getting canceled. Why well, apologize? It's not your fault. Yeah, but I feel like I should have seen it coming. It's not like with the pandemic. Came, it's not like the pandemic came out of nowhere. And like looking back, I should have seen. I should have been more careful when I was talking to you. What if I had it? So yeah, I guess I'll see you whenever I'll, I'd be allowed to see you. Now hold on. Maybe you can't see each other in person, but we can still see each other digitally. You know your laptop has a webcam. Let's do that. That's a great idea. Wait, right now? No, unless you're in the middle of something. I'm not doing anything. It's just that my internet's broken. Can you use your phone? No can do. My data plan is pretty, uh, bad. Because, like, why would I use my phone when I could use my computer? Yeah, why would you? Anyway, I'm going to see what I'm going to do about the internet. Probably got something to do with my router, right? That's uh, certainly where internet comes from. Call me if you need any help. Y'all aren't even that far away. 
I love him. <laughs> he says I'm sorry. <laughs> For real. Right, so where's my router again? Do you not? Sir? <laughs> Where is your router? Don't tell me you have your router in like some trash place like freaking... Is that your dad? It's my uncle. Oh, my uncle. Okay. His name is Sandy. But I, call, I just call him uncle. Is that weird? No, not really. Ah, oh, here it is. This has to be it, right? It's our home router. It usually works kind of. But it's definitely not working right now. The lights are blinking, so it's definitely turned on. Should I turn it off? Alright, the router is off. Now the internet is definitely not working. Turn it on. Alright, let's back on now. Let's check on my phone and laptop to see if the internet's working now. Hey, the internet's working again. I should let Robin know. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna go to the computer and call her from there. My laptop. It's running a lot faster now that I moved all those WAV files to an external drive. Uh, that's good. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, call Robin. Okay. I can't call her from the from the laptop then. Is your internet working? Yeah. All I did was turn it off and on again. Who knew that would actually work? Nice. It rarely fails. <laughs> anyway, meet me at your computer. Uh, you got my let's talk username, right? Yep. I'll see you soon. Okay, logging on and calling. Hello? Can you see me or hear me? Uh, it's... Yikes. Sir? <laughs> yep, and yep. Hey there. Hey there to you too. So, uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. I guess, uh, I can show you around. With what? Your laptop? <laughs> Whoa! Just starts freaking moving around with the laptop. <laughs> Let's get this tour started. This is my couch. This is like my music player. <laughs> this is my vinyl player. I got some books over here. There's also some records. This is my bed. I have a lamp. I got a stace wool, so I got some uh, dumbbells. Uh, here's my trash can with all my dirty trash. Uh, also got this. <laughs> it's a family shrine. Uncle and I pray to it every day. Hey, what's that? It's a shrine for our family. We make offerings to let them know we're still thinking of them, and so they don't get mad and curse us. I'm assuming those are your grandparents in that photo. No, uh, they're my regular parents. Mom and Dad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, man. It's fine. It was a while ago. Plus, in a way, they're not really gone, you know? I talk to them every day. That is kind of sweet, actually. Aw. Feels for real. Uh, do I just show her my uncle like this? <laughs> hey, this is my uncle. <laughs> like, look at laptop and everything. Hey, yo, this is my uncle. <laughs> he actually fucking does it. This is my uncle. He's my, uh... Oh, this is uncle. He's my, uh, uncle. <laughs> Stefan, what are you doing with your computer? Hey, Steve, uh, Stefan's uncle. Wow, it's talking to me. Uncle, this is Robin. She's the woman I was going to see that, uh, that concert with. Oh, well, if you ever need anything ancient and Asian, come to Kyoto Goods, owned and operated by yours truly. We're open for curbside pickup. This isn't the time for a sales pitch. In this economy, it's always time for a sales pitch. <laughs> Ancient and Asian. <laughs> yeah. I believe he works in uh, China, uh, the Chinatown district in the game. <laughs> but he is right. <laughs> in this economy, it's always time for a sales pitch. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is my coffee. I like to drink it. I got a dirty stove. But you know, that doesn't really matter. Do I show you the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> We've been doing less laundry since lockdown started. Now that we got way less, we go out way less often. Here's our laundry room. Nice, looks super tidy, indeed. Bathroom. 
It's our bathroom. We do bathroom stuff in it. And uh, this is our bathroom. We got a shower stall and a toilet. Living the life, I see. <laughs> Let's go. I love her reactions to everything. Is this your my super lame gym setup? And this is my workout space. Huh, it's less equipped than I thought it would be. <laughs> Shrine. I normally work out at Titan Fitness down on 14th Street, but I've stopped going lately because of, well, you know. This is all I've been able to get together for the time being. Things have been rough. I can see that. Yeah. It's all good. Do I show you this shrine again? I already introduced my Robin to my parents. It's probably a shrine. Yep. Uh, what about here? <laughs> this is my router. So this is my router. Nice. It sure is a router. <laughs> Let's move on. We bought that frog vase from a farmer's market uh, years ago. Best 40 bucks we ever spent. Some pictures of my parents and... Hold up, is that a frog vase? Yeah, you like it? Dude, I love it. I knew you'd come in handy someday, frog vase. <laughs> We've had this plant for a while. I let uncle take care of it. Hey, nice plant. What's its name? Plants are supposed to have names. I mean, they're not supposed to have names. I like to name our plants. I feel a deeper connection that way. A deeper connection that way. I get that. Still, I'd be scared that once I name it, it just shrivels up and dies. And then I can't just toss it out. I'd have to, like, give it a funeral or something. It's true. Not me something is scary. This conversation got dark. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. What about your guitar? I should probably pick this thing back up someday. And this is... Yeah, never mind. Let's <laughs> move on. Oh my god, is that a guitar? You play guitar? Not really, I played a little during community college, that's all. I haven't been able to pawn it off. Come on, play me a lick. No. Boo. <laughs> Just give me some time to practice, alright? I'm rusty. <laughs> alright, fine, fine, fine. Got that rustiness. What was that? It wasn't the chest. Just some blankets and sheets. Oh, I was hoping for something more. Treasury. Trust me, when November comes, blankets become treasure. This guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Alright. Is there anything I have to show you in my room? Oh, yeah. There is. Is that your CD collection? Yeah. I've been collecting since I was 10. Nice. Wait. Hang on. What? What do you mean, what? How many Wink 42 CDs do you... Uh, <laughs> Do you have wing 42 you can't you guys can't even say you can have a pandemic, but you can't freaking call it freaking blink 182 <laughs> Hey, I did say I started when I was 10 and you really hung on to them all these years once a fan always a fan Respect Don't you have some old music you won't ever stop loving Louis and the puffer fish y'all can't even have <laughs> I don't even know the actual band's name. Uh, what's it called? Hootie and the Blowfish? Y'all can't have Hootie and the Blowfish too? It's, it's gotta be Louie and the Pufferfish? <laughs> Man, this pandemic really hit hard. <laughs> For real? 100%. So that's everything, pretty much. Our house is pretty small. At least you have a house. I just live in a two-bedroom apartment. Want me to show you around? Yeah. I'm down. Oh, yo, are, am I going to be able to play as her? <laughs> we out here. <clears throat> sure, let's see what you've got. Weird. Yo, I like your room, though. You got a nice little TV right here. You got a freaking nice setup. Look at this. This is not... Uh, if I had an apartment, this wouldn't be a bad place for uh, for washing machine and dryer. Yeah, two roommates. Alright, well, here. I'll show you around the bedroom first. Uh, <laughs> burb. <laughs> burb. Burb. What's that bird thing? Huh, I'm actually not sure. I got it at a thrift store when I was first when I first moved here. Whatever it is, I consider it a friend. <laughs> burb. <laughs> hmm. A bunch of techno junk I've just accrued over the years. And most of them are eternally works in progress. So yeah, this is all 
Yeesh, I don't know where to start. Neat, it's a bunch of computer stuff, right? Did I nail it? Kinda, I do a lot of DIY tinkering, so like, I've got some custom keyboards, some PC case mods here and there, and with all the extra time I've been getting, I've started modding this Game Wonder to play music. Whoa, play something right now. It's not ready yet. You're rusty too, huh? No, literally, it's not ready. Right now I can only get it to emit a very high pitch sustained D sharp. Sharp D, you say? Oof. I love this game. I fucking, I already love this game. <laughs> the fact that he says oof. Oof is right. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll let you know when I can play other notes. Word. Alright, alright. Is this your bed? Uh, nothing to show on the desk. Let's go ahead and just show. Man, I need to put away my laundry sometime. But I'm always so busy doing nothing. For real. Doing nothing takes up a lot of time, guys. Right, so here's a basket of my clean clothes just sitting in the hallway. Why don't you just put it away? Who are you? My mom? <laughs> Fair enough. It's our adopted plant children. Each one just as precious as the next. Here's all of our adopted children. The one on the left is Jeremy, the skinny one is Costello, the right one is St. Cloud, and the big one is Tiny McLarge. Tiny McLarge. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> this game knows it's a meme of itself. <laughs> I'm blown away. It's portraying our life right now. <laughs> For real. We call her that because she's pretty big, but like, she's supposed to be even bigger. Tiny McLarge. Okay. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Hey, yo, let's go. Aw, uh, don't listen to the haters, Tiny. You're beautiful just the way you are. McLarge or McSmall, you'll be the McPrettiest of them all. Hey, yo, let's go. I like Stefan. Stefan, I want to marry you. Alright, you charmer. Cool down over there. I don't need you t and Tiny running off in the middle of the night to elope. <laughs> hey, I could do worse. Oh, this is your CD collection. This is your CD collection? Jeez. It's a collection of CDs, DVDs, VHS te uh, tapes, vinyl records, some Betamax tapes. Betamax tapes? Y'all can have Betamax tapes, but y'all can't have some Blink-182. So this is all of our CDs, vinyls, and junk. Whoa, nice. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff is uh, Gail and Neil's. Back in the day, they were into every kind of scene you could think of. Proto-punk, disco, punk post-punk, post-disco, you name it. What about proto-disco? Gail's co reading a comprehensive history of the Sunset City's historic parks. We must be running low on interesting books in this household. Indeed. This is Gail, one of my roommates. Howdy do, you're Stefan, right? Yeah, I guess Robin told you about me already. Oh yeah, she's told me plenty. Okay, okay, moving on. Piano? Oh, you're rusty at the piano, aren't you? It's a cheap keyboard. I think it's Gail's from her touring days. Oh, it's not yours. Wait, is this yours? Do you play the keyboard? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't mine. Pretty sure this is Gail's. Gail, this is yours, right? Um, no, I never touched that thing in my life. I think it might be Neil's. Is that right, Neil? RPs? Even vegetables? Neil! Are you okay? Nah, that's definitely not a vegetable, babe. Oh my god. No, I mean, is it yours? Oh no, I haven't touched that thing either. I thought it was yours, Robin. Why would I have a keyboard? I can't play piano. Well, not with that attitude, you can't. So the keyboards is no one's. It's probably haunted. Let's not discuss it any further. Alright. Neil looks busy comparing produce. I'm sure he doesn't mind though. And this is Gail's partner, Neil. Robin, perfect. Help us settle a debate. Okay, sure. What about? About salads, Robin. Oh, don't start. So obviously carrots are vegetables. Obviously. And so is lettuce. But you may be unaware that cucumbers, it turns out, are technically fruit. Tomatoes are fruit too. And just in case we're talking about fancy salads, you gotta know that avocados are fruit too. So we already have five or six standard salad ingredients, and most of them aren't even vegetables. You with me so far? Um, yeah? 
So here's my question. Don't you agree that fruit salad is kind of a strange name since all sorts of salads are technically majority fruit salads already? Neil, you are going to make my brain hurt. I agree. Boo. <laughs> right on, man. Glad we could help clear that up, Neil. Well, uh, I'll let you take it from here. <laughs> anyway, that's Neil. Anyway, that's my apartment. It's uh, small. He smokes. Yeah, for sure. This guy is definitely a fucking stoner. <laughs> like, no doubt about it. I think it looks cozy. Yeah, I guess it's pretty cozy. So, uh, do you play video games? Not since I was 12. Why? Oh, I was thinking we could play, like, some games, but I don't know. Hey, yo, just get yourself a Nintendo Switch. Ah, this was such a dumb idea. What is? Oh, are you talking? What? Ooh, ah. Uh, play some games. Let's go. The whole streaming date thing. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. What can we do together while we're apart? Listen to music. We could talk. Okay, and we could uh, listen to music, you know, have a music listening party. That's what we were doing, uh, what we were going to do today anyway, right? Talk and listen to music. And think about it. Nothing is going to top listening to music live, but at least we don't have to shout to hear each other. And there's no drunk people to get in our way. So what are you going to put on first? You want me to start? Okay, let's see what I've got. Crud. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Hope you can hear that, okay? Never heard this track before. This is Chip Shoom remix of uh, Good Times Roll by Parker. Oh yeah, it totally is. I almost didn't recognize it at all. Where did you even find this? No joke, someone just posted it in the comments of a music video I found in some social media thread. Wait, you're telling me this comment section... This is comment section music? One of life's little miracles. Yeah. It actually reminds me of this guy who came into electricity one time freaking out because he had this tape deck that was absolutely trashed. He was losing his mind because he couldn't get the cassette out, but I told him we're not going to be able to get it out without damaging it. The dude blew a gasket, stormed out, and never came back, so we were just left with this mysterious box of untold musical wonders. So you smash it open, right? Obviously, we couldn't save the tape, but we finally managed to at least get it out of the deck. And written on it in all caps marker was just unreleased red tuesday tracks what that's insane i can't believe you almost got to listen to it man are all your customers so weird i mean other than me and the tape deck that uh, guy he's right for real all the stories i could tell still i guess it could be worse jim is actually pretty cool for a manager in his 50s and he doesn't mind me slacking off so as long as uh, he doesn't mind me slacking off so long as the work gets done. Damn it! Why is that so hard for me to read? <laughs> I mean, real talk. I think you should count yourself lucky. It's good to have a boss who actually treats you like a person. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Plus, he buys us lunch all the time. Actually, would you give me a sec? Phone's running out of battery. Oh, uh, should we? Uh, are we done then? Nah, you're not getting off that easy. I'm gonna switch to my desktop so I can learn what you do for work. Oh, well, I kind of do a lot of gigs. Let's go. This is so fucking cute. I love it. Oh, look at that. She's already in her fucking jammies. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. That's why he swole. No way. You would have been great. You would have been too nice. <laughs> He would have like fucking elbow dropped somebody and said and been like, hey, yo, bro, I'm sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean I'm too nice? <laughs> Trust me. I know a few people in local wrestling scene. You have to be pretty cutthroat to make it in that biz. Honestly, you really do have to be pretty cutthroat. I've seen people get really hurt in uh, some live shows. I see. So week three of lockdown, right? How are you keeping active? Dude. Oh, we're going time skipping right now. Alright. Oh man, this again? I don't know. What should I be doing? Something. Anything. Alright, fine. I'll start. Running in place or something. Yeah, why not? So what'd I tell you? Amazing movie, right? 
I thought you said it'd be a happy it had a happy ending. It did. But they killed all those robots just to save the planet. Oh hush. Those poor frightened defenseless robots for real. Never kill a robot. Unless it's a Roomba. You always kill the Roombas. One of them had grenade launchers for hands. Okay, maybe kill that one too. <laughs> maybe not let that one live. If it has grenade launchers for hands. Still though. Next time, we'll watch something where robots win. <laughs> Alright, you're doing great. Now let's keep going with those quads. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Once lockdown is over, I'll take you to the gym and we'll see how hard, <laughs> what hard really means. Oh god, no. <laughs> that sounds excruciating. Robin, check out this amazing cat. Aw. Wow, that is adorable. <laughs> I love how you just send the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> like, just... <sighs> this latest batch of kombucha actually came out kind of okay. Oh, it was snowing outside. Holy shit. I want your honest opinion. Does that sound good at all? I'm just saying, when lockdown's over, you should try open mic night at Fellini's. Yeah, if I had known that Pizza Cake would have been the last restaurant I eat out at, maybe I would have picked a place other than Pizza Cake. Still, we should go there after lockdown's done. The pizza's not great, but the cake is amazing. But it's Pizza Cake. It's supposed to be pizza first, then cake. Yeah, after lockdown's done. Yeah, after lockdown's done. Lockdown day 63. Yep, this is what, around early June? <laughs> Why was it snowing? <laughs> it never ends, for real. It really doesn't. No, I'm still awake. Sorry, I don't normally stay up this late. Not much of a night owl, huh? Not really. Well, except for concerts. Speaking of which, what's that music I hear in the background? Oh, that's just Gail and Neil. They're watching a tape of some old Rose Void show from back in the day. They followed those guys for an entire US tour once. The whole tour? Man, that must have been wild. That time I stayed out late for just one show, I felt like I got hit by a train the next morning. Which show was that? A Pony for Princess, when they did the midnight release party for Starstruck? Wait, from last fall? At the Pastel in Bloom? I think I might have also been at that show. No way, really? Oh, that's so weird. Hey, did you get the mixtape they sold that night with all the Starstruck B-sides? I totally did. It's somewhere. Let me go find it. Nice. Ah, yes. My old nemesis. Laundry. I'll definitely make sure to take care of that once I stop not wanting to. <laughs> Alright. For sure. Nope, the cassette isn't here. Oh, where could the cassette be? I always thought it was a little much to have this giant media collection in the house. Between the CDs, DVDs, VHS types, vinyls, and no joke bread types, there's no way I'll have time to get through it all. Again. Thanks, Lockdown. Yeah. Where the heck is the cassette tape? Is it in your bathroom? Actually, they're watching an old concert. There's no need to vlog them. Alright. You feel alright, St. Cloud? You're looking a little green this evening. And at last, but not, uh, at last, but very not, uh, very much not least, Tony McLarge. You keep an eye on your brothers now, you hear? Robin, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I should probably ask Gail and Neil. Hi, are you looking for something? Yeah, I'm trying to find the mixtape I got from a Pony and Prissa show last year. Did you check the shelf underneath the TV? I'll take a look. Oh, uh, thanks, Neil. You're welcome. Why were you looking for that anyway? You don't, uh, don't you have modify? Dotify. And they don't have the b-sides on there. But that's besides the point. I just wanted to show stuff in the tip. Turns out we were uh, at the same show when we were, uh, when they were sold. Oh, you're still doing your calls with Stefan? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean still? Nothing. I just thought you two, uh, you were done. After all, it's been three months and you two haven't even seen each other. I mean, we're in lockdown. What do you expect? <laughs> sure, but none of the guidelines say you can't, you know. At least see each other in person. That's true. Oh, knock it off, Gail. Let Robin figure things out herself. We're not her parents. Besides, who are we to judge how to love someone? Not everyone expresses it in the same way. Very true. 
that's true. Well, have your, f uh, well, have fun on your date call, Robin. Thanks. I, I, I didn't mean to pull it out yet. Okay, cool, cool. Hello, are you still there? Nobody on screen. Must be in the bathroom or something. Hey there. Oh, good. You didn't abandon me. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just talking to Uncle. Apparently, lockdown set to ex uh, to end next week. Really? That soon? Yeah, I guess the state was able to keep the curve down, so places are gonna open up again. Anyway, did you find the tape? Yeah, I found the tape. It's uh, as cassette as ever. <laughs> What's wrong, Robin? Oh, nothing. Robin? Seriously? I was just wondering. Do you want to go out next week? Like, outside? Together? Yeah, but like, we can be safe about it. Outdoor spaces only. We steer clear of anyone else. Oh, we wear mask of, uh, masks, of course. Of course, yeah. I'd love to see you next week. Aw, that's cute. But, I mean, I gotta sleep on it. Still feeling a little iffy about the safety of the whole thing, you know? I'm sure it's fine. Maybe it's just nerves. It's probably alright. Either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. You know, in person. Yeah, same. Anyway, I need to get to bed. Don't want to mess with my internal clock, you know. It's bad for your body and stuff. Hey, wait, before you go. Yeah? What's in that jar behind you? I can't quite make it out from here, but it's been filling up uh, little by little since we first met. Ah, oh, that. Well, there's this gift in uh, Chinese culture. It's a little cheesy, but I thought yeah, you might like it anyways. I've been waiting to surprise you with it, but I guess I could just tell you now instead. Really? No, of course not. It's a surprise. You're just gonna have to wait until it's ready. Oh, come on. You gotta give me a hint at least. Not a chance, Winters. Well, fine then. I will be patient and wait for the surprise like an adult. Which I totally am. Very convincing. <laughs> God damn it. Alrighty then. Time for bed. Internal clocks and all that. Love you. Good night. Love you too. You said love you. Lockdown day 64. Can't wait until I can get back to chatting gym. Wonder what they're going to do to make everything safe. Anyway, time for some breakfast. Hope Uncle remember to set up the slow cooker. Indeed. Uncle's really going ham on that kanji. Morning, Uncle. Morning, Stefan. You should eat up before the kanji gets cold. Alright, I got a bowl. Now I'm gonna get some kanji. Why are you eating standing up? Working on my quads, obviously. You gotta compensate for all the sitting I do for work. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. That makes sense. How's the store doing? Well, turns out we, uh, when everyone's all cooped up, they start caring a little bit more about their feng shui so our store is doing as well as it could be oh that's good still doing pickup only right yep lance is taking care of all of that i just come in now and then after hours you know make sure lance is doing his job i guess that's fine but you're not going in once the store opens uh next week are you stefan all i <laughs> stefan i have to everything's already locked up in glass cases anyway it's not as if our store ever has a problem with crowds <coughs> what was that Oh, Stefan, give me a break. It's just a cough, it's nothing. <coughs> no, no, no. It's not nothing. You're in at risk age. This isn't good. Uncle, I'm sure Lance can handle the opening. You gotta stay here. We'll call the doctor and get you tested. When that means I have to get tested too. So, huh? Hey, I thought maybe we'd go to Wayhurst Park for the actual date. What do you think? First, you're telling me to stay home. Now you want me to go to the park? I was reading a text, sorry. I need to respond to this. Uh, damn it, I don't want to abandon that though. Sorry if this seems sudden, but we should talk about that. Uh, okay, what's up? I'll meet you at the computer. Alright, well. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad.
Hey there. You okay? What's going on? Uncle's got a cough. Do you do you think it's we don't know yet. As soon as we can we're gonna get it tested. Yeah, I totally understand. We'll just wait until you get your results back. About that. I was thinking, say our results come back negative, negative, and then go out with you. What if I catch it then? Come on, Stefan. We can be smart about this, you know? Wear masks, keep our distance from other people, and from each other. Well, I don't know if we have to go that far. Robin, you're still working at electricity. You're in contract with other people all the time. Well, slow your roll. We rarely get customers inside the shop. When we do, we make sure they wear a mask. But that just lowers the chances of getting it. It doesn't make you invincible. What are you asking me to do? Go work and go to work in the spacesuit? Seriously, what's your deal? Why are you acting all defensive? Because you're asking the uh, what you're asking is impossible. It's not like I can stop working. I know, I know. But maybe we should wait until there's a vaccine and we c and we all get vaccinated. And when will that be? I don't know. Cool. So we'll stop dating until scientists find the vaccine. Got it. Hey, now I didn't say we should stop dating. I like our calls, don't you? Yeah, I do, but it's not enough, Stefan. I'm sorry. You gotta understand, Robin. This is bigger than you and me. Uncle's the only family I have. So if our social, uh, socially distant stream dates aren't enough, then. Yeah. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work, then. Alrighty, then. Have a good life, Stefan. I'm gonna cry. One month later. Aww. It's been a month since restrictions loosened up. Yet there's like nobody on the streets. I guess that's a good thing. People are taking it seriously. Well, whatever. Still gotta get to work. Look at that strut in those heels. Let's fucking go, girl. Hey, come over here and say hi first. Uh, fine. God damn it, Malcolm. Hey, Robin. How are you doing? What do you think, Malcolm? Great. I'm doing good, too. So, it's been about a month, right? Since you broke up with... Look, let's just get this day over with. Aye, aye, Captain. Welcome to electricity. You zap them, we got them. Pardon? <laughs> if you got something that needs repairing, come take it over here. The Nerd Force is here to help. Hello? Sir? Dude, what gives? I'll go ask him. I think... I know what he wants. Dude, what's with the getup? I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stefan, I know it's you. You can't hide your build no matter how many layers you put on them. Well, <laughs> why bother disguising yourself? I'm not disguising myself. I'm just dressed to be safe. I really don't want to catch anything, you know? Sure, but don't you think you're overdoing it with the snow jacket? Seriously, you must be sweating in that getup. I'll sweat as many gallons as I want, so long as I don't catch the virus. Sweating's no big deal anyway. It's good for you. I taught you that. Yeah, you sure did. Alright, you got this covered, Robin. I'm, uh, gonna take my break now, I guess. I just got in, bro. <laughs> Didn't you all just open? Yeah, what the f- <laughs> Just tell me why you're here. Oh man, it's busted again. Let's see here. I think I remember the password. No, that's not it. What was it? That's not it either. What was it? Sorry, what's the password? I probably should have asked first. Robin is cool, 1985. Nice. The one instead of I trick. Shh, don't say it out loud. Right, right. So, uh, is your uncle doing alright? Yeah, he's alright. We got tested. We were all negative. That's good. That's good. Anyway, the laptop. Yeah, what's up with the laptop? The laptop runs okay now. It just comes, uh, just gets kind of hot. 
so I'm scared of it exploding or something and you know an exploding computer in this economy hmm let's check the usual spe uh, suspects storage space looks good to me you're really taking much better care of your laptop yeah I guess anyway it looks like it might be uh, something wrong with the laptop itself it looks uh, to me that the vents are just really dusty and that's a thing oh yeah big time dust clogs the vents vents can't vent anymore and all that heat gets trapped in there I recommend getting canned air that's also a thing absolutely it is yeah how much uh don't worry about it it's uh it's the can I keep for work oh uh thanks so did you sabotage your laptop on purpose what no why would I do that to make up an excuse to talk to me Robin you know I'm not smart enough to come up with a scheme like that trust me I only came here because I know you're the only one who can fix my computer Stefan it's sweet uh, you think that but you can go to any electronic store and ask anybody there and they could tell you what's wrong with your computer it's not that hard this all happened because you happened to come in the one day Malcolm had time off that's it if he had been here we would have just missed each other again well I'll be real I'm glad we met that day because the following months would have really sucked without you and know that because the last month has sucked sorry I shouldn't have said that I know this can't work you want to be able to see me in, uh, see someone in person and no matter what I just can't risk it yeah I understand hmm. maybe we can try doing online dates again maybe let's wait until after the pandemic wait after the pandemic for what today Stefan I just it can't work out as it is it's too painful but if we find other people by then then we're with other people is that so bad and if you don't find anyone else and I don't find anyone else well we can figure it out from there yeah all right thanks for fixing my computer customer satisfaction is our guarantee darn this hurt oh is that it damn damn that's actually a really good uh, game though I definitely want to uh, see if because I know a lot of uh, times for the games like the choices uh, can give you different endings and all that It was really nice. I can relate. Yeah. I really enjoyed it too. It's a really nice game. And hey, for six bucks, I really enjoyed that, honestly. And I'm definitely going to play it again. Uh, give it another go. See what else I can do with it. And uh, yeah. 